I walk by work every day. I drive my car across potholes in the road that need repair to an expressway that needs repaving. I drive past a school where one teacher has 50 suits in her class. There's no band teacher, no music teacher, no art teacher, no truant officer, no school nurse. The school is 100 years old and could use some repairing, some remodeling, some rewiring, some energy efficiency. I drive past an overcrowded public hospital while nurses and community care providers and janitors and security guards are being laid off. I walk to my office. I walk past people who are standing in the street talking to themselves because they don't have mental health services and human service providers. Gas guzzling cars whiz by while public transportation routes are being cut. Old clunkers spewing fumes that could be replaced with fuel efficient made in America cars. There is plenty of work that we can do in America and we can start in each and every one of our communities. America is still the richest country in the world. Our economy is 10 times bigger than China. So we must use all the resources at our command to rebuild, restore, and reestablish America as a great nation, a country that works for all of us. We all do better when we all do better. Let me close. You know, the problem is bigger than just unemployed and those who have jobs. The problem is that corporations and their corporate CEOs have too much money, they make too much power, and they wield too much political influence. And while workers who are working get lower wages and higher health care costs and reduced pensions, they get bailouts and bonuses and record profits. Is it any wonder that income inequality is its highest level in 100 years? Is it any wonder that we have 15 million people unemployed in this economy? Now, this economy is working pretty good for some. The richest 10% of the people control 70% of the wealth. The bottom 50% only control 2%. Now, we know what to do. If we went to a banquet and prepared enough food for 100 people, and 10 people came and took 70 plates, and left 30 plates of food for 90 people to share, what would we do? We would make those greedy rascals bring some of that food back and put it on the table so that everybody can eat. This is America. It's rich enough and plenty enough so everybody can eat. Y'all ready for some good news? Y'all ready for some good news? I know it's dark. But in the midst of the deepest, darkest winter is an invincible summer. So until the sun comes out, I just need y'all to shine your light. We used to sing a song in the storefront church where I grew up in. It said, this little light of mine... I'm going to let it shine. I would rather be a light, one candle in the darkness, than to be a part of organized darkness. So even though it's dark, if you shine your light, others will see your light. But shine your light not just for yourself, but the unemployed, and the underemployed, and the anxiously employed, and the barely employed. And shine your light for yourself, not just for yourself, but for your children, and their children, and their children's children. Because when you shine your light, the truth comes out. When you shine your light, coalitions get built. When you shine your light, unlikely voters show up at the polls. When you shine your light, governors and congresspeople and senators and presidents speak out for you. When you shine your light, walls come down. When you shine your light, yokes get broken. Knees get unbent. Backs get straight. Heads look up. When you shine your light, jobs come back to America with higher wages and better benefits. When you shine your light, the economy gets stronger. Be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. And if we stand together and stick together and stay together, let the record reflect that on this day, Saturday, October 2nd, 2010, hundreds of thousands of men and women, boys and girls, came to Washington, D.C., not only to fire people up about these elections, but also to bend the moral arc of the universe toward jobs yes, and yes. justice for all. We are one nation working together. Be strong. Be a good firm. Keep the faith. Let's go to work.